Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be giving this old dresser a makeover using this white chalk paint. If you want to see the whole process and see how the dresser turns out, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. So before you start painting, you want to make sure that you're wearing clothes that you don't care if they get paint on. That's why I'm wearing my husband's old shirt, sorry babe, and this old jean skirt. And then, so my first step was to take the handles off of the drawers. And this was a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Those screws were in those drawers really tight. This is an old dresser. It's an antique. And so that's why I was kind of nervous to paint it. I didn't want to ruin it, but I decided to just do it. It was pretty beat up and it just really needed a makeover. After that I wiped down the dresser with a damp cloth and then I dried it off with a rag just to make sure that there was no dust or dirt on it before I started painting. I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum white chalk paint. I got this off of Amazon, I'll link it down below. So first off I gave it a stir and then I poured it into this white glass jar. Um, I had read online to get a spray bottle full of water, spray a couple spritz in with your paint and give it a stir just so that it doesn't get too thick. And then they also said to spray your brush um, every once in a while while you're painting if your paint starts to get too thick. So I decided to give that a try and it wasn't so bad but eventually I just decided that I wasn't gonna spray the water into the jar but I still did spray the brush every once in a while with the water if the paint would start to get really thick and then I started to paint it onto the dresser and you want to make sure that you paint with the grain of the wood I would paint it all on and then I would just swipe the brush across the top just to give it a nice smooth look so the nice thing about chalk paint is that you don't have to sand down the furniture before you paint it on. Usually when you're painting furniture you have to sand it down before you paint it or stain it. But with chalk paint you can just paint it right on top once you wipe down the piece. And I have painted and stained furniture before but I've never used chalk paint before so this was a first time experience for me. Once I was done painting the dresser, I moved on to painting the front of the drawers. Lastly, I had to paint the mirror that goes above the dresser and to ensure that I didn't get any paint on the mirror, I just took a piece of white paper and I cut it in a half circle and I tucked it up underneath that mirror and I would just slide it along as I was painting and it actually worked pretty good. Once that first coat of paint had dried, I had to apply a second coat of paint to the dresser, the drawers, and the mirror. Once everything had dried, I applied Americana Clear Cream Wax as the final top coat to everything. And at first I grabbed a rag to just rub it onto the piece, but that just put blue fuzzies on everything. And so I just grabbed one of these craft brushes to apply it. And this worked pretty good, but I think that ultimately you would want to use a cloth to rub it in because I think I got just a little bit too much applied with this craft brush and you don't want to put a very heavy coat of this on you just want to put it on really thinly but I didn't have a cloth that would work but if you have a cloth that would work then definitely use a cloth instead of a craft brush. Once everything was dry, I put the handles back onto the drawers and I put the drawers back into the dresser. And then I took some sandpaper and I did some distressing to the dresser. I wanted to give it just a little bit more of a rustic look. Mm -hmm. 
And here is a look at what the dresser looked like before the makeover, and now here is the after. I love how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more DIY videos in the future, then be sure and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.